Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Concrete 5 for beginners in 2024. So today we're going to learn how to start using Concrete 5. Concrete 5 is a powerful and also an open source content management system, which is CMS, that you see, which, is, which is of course user-friendly and flexible. So Make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you do so, go to the CRL section and basically just type concrete 5 and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you should be taken here. So make sure to click on the first link, which is concrete cms.com make sure it's not sponsoring or something like that and you'll have access to their home screen or main screen so as you can see websites that deliver the right content management system cms of course lets content creators designers and developers build author and publish content simple as that if you don't know nothing about the concrete as example uh, CMS or Concrete 5 specifically, you can simply scroll down to read more information about like the features that it offers and etc. As you can see, like the plans, uh, the features that comes with each plan, as example, you can even get started for free, as an example. And yeah, so uh, first, of course, you would like to go and click on Get Started. You'll be able to try it now if you go and click on it here. And basically, you'll have to fill up your information. Make sure to and check this option to sign up for a newsletter if you don't want to uh, receive some annoying uh, like uh, emails. And as you can see, you'll have to fill up all those information, like starting by your email. So, for example, let's just go enter an email here. After that, a password. And then simply confirm that password. And as you can see, we'll email you from time to time regarding your account and demo additionally. Uh, of course, your account and demo. Additionally, you can sign up for a newsletter if you want to. I don't recommend that. Hey, of course, you can if you want to. It's really up to you. And as you can see, give this project a name so you can find it in your profile later. So for me, I'll just name it like Omex and name as example. So starting point, do you want service websites or IMC sites? Whatever you want. So for me, I'll just start with the service websites. I don't want to start from scratch and from empty sites. As you can see, Okay, I'm good to use. Okay, never mind. Uh, like a password must be in between 12 and uh, 128 characters, and must contains at least one upper character. So let me just go and do that and that. What's about now? Uh, maybe it's not 12. So I'll just go and do that again as an example. And let's just go and do that again in here. Okay, should be good to go now and click on create sites. So let's see if they're gonna create a site or they're gonna tell us there's a problem. Okay, yeah, they are creating a site. As you can see, the URL of the site is gonna be this one. So they are installing like concrete, uh, they are creating some database tables and etc. As you can see, your site is not quite ready, so please wait for the installation complete before visiting the URL. Of course, once the installation is complete, you can simply just go and get that URL, insert it wherever you want, and you can simply enter it. As you can see for me, there's nothing now because the installation is not done yet. For you, you'll have to wait for the installation until it's complete. And of course, this is just to try things out. After that, once you try it and you find it like as you want, it's time for you to go and download their license version. Choose the plan and download the license version. Then you'll have to upload the packages to your web server then install the wizard or access the installation wizard through your web browser follow the instructions to complete the installation then you'll be able to initiate the setup and dashboard overview and you'll be able to create some new pages you'll be able to add and manage some blocks you'll be able to install any themes that you want you'll be able to add users and settings permissions you'll be able to install add-ons you'll be able to configure seo settings and backup your concrete sites uh, publish your store uh, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff as you can see all you need to do first of all is download it uh, once you choose a plan so let me just go here and open this at another uh page as you can see if you go and click on try it now you'll be taken to the same place 
But for you, as an example, let's say you try it out and you like it, it's time to choose a plan. So you maybe choose a starter plan. Just go and click on that in here. As an example, so you'll have to first of all, give it a name again. And of course, go and create your site with now with the plan that you choose. And of course, they'll take you to uh, do all what I've mentioned. Of course, as you can see, each plan uh, will go through the features since this is still downloading. So as you can see, each plan comes with its own features. Like for the startup plan, the perfect fits for something small you need to manage yourself, as an example. So from here, you'll be able to have one site editor, a limited support question, no access to source code, uh, source code uh, upgrade man upgrades manage for you configuration support nightly backup 10,000 page views per month and two gigabytes of storage space if you upgrade your plan from starter to business as you can see you'll basically uh, be able of course just keep in mind those prices is a little bit cheap if you pay annually because it's billed annually but you'll pay this uh, amount for a month but you pay if you pay monthly it's probably going to be a little bit more Keep that in mind. So as an example for this business plan for a team of professionals managing an important website together. So you'll get five site editors, unlimited support questions, no access to source code, upgrade manage for you, configuration support, nightly backup, content delivery network, free SSL, uh, DDoS protection and mitigation, uh, 50,000 pages of views per month, and 20 gigabytes of storage space. And lastly, if you want to get a custom a plan, work with the team behind concrete to manage a custom code based for your mission critical web application you can use the gitlab to deploy your custom code to host environment or to host an environment optimized for concrete tms so we'll get basically kind of everything in here like unlimited support questions continuous backup and restoration one stage in one production server customer development as needed co-manage upgrades and development custom staging and ci and cd uh, hybrid development teams, high availability and large data source. But as you can see, stores. But as you can see, for that, you will need to go and talk to the sales to get that specific plan. You'll not, as you can see, once you click on it, you'll have to fill up like a, a form in here with your name, email, phone optional, and your message, of course, then submit and they'll talk to you as soon as possible. As you can see, so our expertise uh, will talk to you basically, uh, you'll need to follow or to have this certain requirements, first of all, make sure to meet those requirements, then you'll be able to go and get that uh, specific plan if you want to. So as an example, this is gonna be installed soon. So I'll just pause the video and wait for it until I come back. Until it's finished, then I'll come back. So as you can see, once it's finished, you can be you will have access to control panel and billing or view and edit sites. So let's just go here to view and edit sites as an example, or let's just go to this instead. So as you can see you are on the trial, free trial. Uh, and here you'll be able to log in and do everything. Here you'll be able, of course, to purchase a hosting plan or browse the marketplace if you want to for any add-ons that you want. And here you'll have access to your site. So an example, here you'll have to answer some questions. If you don't want to, you can simply just click on steps, skip. As you can see, you can watch some videos to understand the basics of this and find your look and time saver uh, power moves if you want to. If you don't, just go and click on cut it. And as you can see, you'll have access to the front end and even the back end of your uh, sites. And you'll have, or you will be able to edit whatever you want on your sites. As you can see, it's simple as that. So make sure to watch the video to understand how to edit those things, like the videos provided by them, to understand how to edit those things and etc. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.